Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's that time of the month again, and um, we're getting ready for our third cutting of hay. We usually cut at the end of May, June, July, and August. And so we're actually hoping to mow, to mow here in a little bit. I just got the mower put back on the 185. If you saw my video here, well, about a month ago, um, I'd shown you that, so we're getting ready to do it all over again. And we'll be getting the 175 and putting the tether on. In fact, uh, I don't think you've seen the new tether that, tether that my dad picked up, and so I'll go show you that. But yeah, I just got this mowing machine put on the 185. I will say, this one here compared to the John Deere 1209 we had, I definitely like this one better. Especially on the crimper part. It does a much better job of actually crimping the hay and actually breaking the stem. Alrighty, here's that tether. Yeah, we gotta get the 175 brought over. But if I remember right, when, um, uh, when I did my last hay cutting video, we still had the old green one. Well, it was somewhat green, but it was all wore out. This one here is basically all the same design. Uh, it's a Italian made, right there's where it came from. And the same guy that, that we bought that case mowing machine off of had this, and he had hardly used it. And so, um, as you can see, it doesn't even hardly have the paint worn off the prongs on the spring deals. And so it works great. And so, yeah, I'll be catching video of this as well. But, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you. Like I say, Dad bought that off of him. And if you don't use a tether, they make a world of difference. They'll easily knock one day off that you can, well, that you can bail one day earlier because of um, the way it just breaks up the windrow and just spreads the hay all around. One, one disadvantage, you do have to take and go all over the entire hay field, raking your hay, hay back up because this thing was spread everywhere. However, it does make it nice that you can take and bail one day, one day earlier. So yeah, that's the tether and I'll be showing, showing it to you once we get on the tractor. All right, we just got the tether here put onto the 175. So, if it works out, we're going to try and go out and get the hay mowed. Thankfully, we only have seven acres, so it's not a whole lot. But uh, they are calling for next week for the temperature to go right back up into the 90s. So, we're going to try and get it bailed before the hot spell it's not exactly all that much fun bail, make trying to bail hay when it's 90 degrees out so and of course right there's the one 185 on the mower and like i say i'll be trying to get video of this once we get going and show you all what's happening now well, we're headed over the hay field Okay, just pulled up here at the hay field. The one nice thing about this hay mower is it's got the hydraulic swing. So all I have to do is simply take and hit this lever. And it swings out just like that. That makes it nice. Our old John Deere 1209 had the manual. You had to take and pull the rope to unlock the tongue, then put a block in front of that right hand back wheel in order to pull it over. This one here's got hydraulic, that makes it nice. And we'll get pulled up in here.
Well, so far, I'm getting ready to go around here and do this outside stripe. I've already got three windrows made. I want to see if I can kind of take and widen the windrow out just a little bit. It seems to be kind of pinching it together pretty tight. It's got these fins underneath here, right there and right here, so I'm kind of widening it out. Uh. Okay, that widened it up. Hopefully make just a little bit wider windrow and we'll see what that does. Okay, I'm doing the outside round. It may be kind of hard to see on camera. But that did help though with the windrow. They kind of widened it out and thinned it down a little bit. Now you can see that tether makes a big difference. Yeah, and right there's the example, how it just spreads everything all out, breaks up that windrow, much better job. Speeds up drying by, like I say, you can usually count on drying by a day earlier, or bailing, I mean, a day earlier. Okay, now right here's, here's where I just came down after widening out the windrow, and here's over here, and you can see a little bit how this here is more bunched up and so that's working pretty good That thing definitely throws the hay. It's pitching it, I don't know, 15 to pretty 20 feet back. But yeah, there you, like I say, you can see the big difference and the advantage of that tether. Right through here is approximately where the original windrow from the mower was at. And as you can see, it's all ripped apart compared to what right here. Because there's no way that dry very fast, that being all bunched up.
Good to hear you though. That's got the hay mode. That will soon be done running the tether. Maybe you can see better looking that way. Yeah, there we go. You can see how that tether really spreads it all out nice and thin so it can dry good. Time to fold it up. There we go. All right, that's got it folded up. That thing sure does throw the hay. Definitely flings it everywhere. But that's what lets it dry good. All right, guys. I'm going to head back over the shed. I, I want to take the air gun, clean this thing all up good, and take it off. So I think I'm going to call that an end of this video. So take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.